What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with 10 more secret Google Pixel 4a features. So let's get started. Now this video is meant to be a follow-up to my Google Pixel 4a tips and tricks video, so check that out as well, but these are 10 additional features that I didn't mention in that video. The first one that I want to show you is called Live Captions. So pull down the shade, go to the settings, go to search, type in cap, and you'll see right here Live Caption. It is under accessibility, so we're going to go here, and then we're going to turn that on. And basically, the live caption detects speech in media and automatically generates captions. When media is playing, this feature uses additional battery. All audio and captions are processed locally and never leave the device. So they're cool there. Now this is useful in multiple situations. For example, maybe you were somewhere where you were watching a video but you can't play the audio, like waiting in line for food, for example, or something like that. Now some services like YouTube do offer their own captions, but these captions work universally with anything here on the phone, so that's definitely very convenient. But let's check it out right now. So that's really accurate, I'm really impressed with that. I mean of course it's going to make some mistakes sometimes but in general it does work impressively well. So again, that's called live caption. You can find it by going to the settings and searching for live caption. The next feature that I wanna show you is called now playing. So the Pixel 4a actually has the ability to detect what songs are playing in the background in real life and it keeps a list of those different songs here on the device. So that's really useful. For example, maybe you're in the grocery store and there's music playing and you're really curious about what that music is, then you can actually find that here on the device itself, which is really cool. So we're going to go to the settings. You're going to search now playing. So we're going to go to now playing history. And these are all the various songs that I've been listening to lately. I just got this phone today, by the way. And I was actually playing music on my computer, totally separate from this phone. And it has the names of the various songs listed here on the device. So that is really incredible. That's extremely impressive. You can also add a shortcut for this to the home screen as well. So that's a feature that I've really never seen on any other device. Now by default, you can't rotate the home screen. In fact, even if you pull down the shade and you turn on auto rotate, the home screen is still not going to rotate. And there's not too many situations where that would come in handy, but if you are, for example, mounting your phone sideways in your car, for example, then sometimes it can be helpful to be able to have the entire home screen rotate. So to get this, you're going to hold down on the home screen itself. You're going to go to home settings, and then you're going to enable allow home screen rotation. So that's enabled now. And then now when I move the phone into landscape, the home screen is now in the landscape format. So it is one of those things that you probably won't use too often, but when you do actually need it, it is really helpful to have it here on the phone. Now, if you're like me, then you probably use your phone quite a bit, and that is a good thing in some ways because you're getting your money's worth. But on the other hand, sometimes you might want to hold yourself accountable for how much you're actually using your device. If that's the case for you, there is a feature called digital well-being. You're gonna go to the settings, go to search, type in digital, and you'll see it right here, digital well-being and parental controls. So if you are a parent and you want to set up parental controls, you have that ability as well. But for digital well-being and tools, you can also show your data and you can see how many unlocks you've done on the phone, how many notifications you've gotten, the amount of time you've spent in various apps. Again, I literally got this phone today, so I haven't used it too much yet, but you can set up timers here for certain apps. You can also set up wind down. So you can set up a bedtime so that you can have better control over your various phone usage habits. So I definitely recommend checking that out. I feel like I'm good at finding a healthy balance, but for some people it might not be that easy. The next thing I want to show you is how to get better accuracy with the fingerprint sensor. And this is pretty simple, but something that some people sometimes overlook. So essentially what we're going to do here is add the same finger multiple times to the fingerprint sensor. So I've already added it once, but I'm going to add it again. And basically every time that you set up your fingerprint, it's going to be a little bit different. And by having 
multiple copies of the same fingerprint in the phone, you are gonna get a faster, more accurate read when you are using it. So I added two, you could add three if you want. So basically by doing that, it's gonna make the fingerprint sensor even more accurate. So the Pixel 4a supports both light mode and dark mode. So I wanna show you how to enable dark mode. Go to the settings, go to display, and then you're gonna see dark theme. So you can turn that on, and essentially it's gonna add a system-wide dark mode to the phone. So during the nighttime, this is really helpful. And if you're going to the movie theater, for example, it's helpful too to have things at least a little bit darker. You probably shouldn't even be on your phone during a movie, but if you decide to, then dark mode probably will be very helpful to you. So when you pull down the shade, you get a bunch of icons here and you might wanna customize them or at least customize the order. So you're gonna tap on this pen right here and it's gonna give you the ability to add additional tiles. So if you wanna add screencast or a dark theme shortcut, that's really convenient, or a button to start your mobile hotspot very quickly, you can pick up one of those and then drag it into here as well. And then you can also edit the order of these two, or if you wanna get rid of one, you can drop it in here down at the bottom. So that's another cool customization there to customize these icons. I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't really know that they can customize. So definitely when you're setting up your Pixel 4a, you might wanna take a look at that. Now this next feature is called Flip to Shh. So pull down the shade, go to the settings, go to search, type in Flip, and there it is. So you can see here, Flip to Shh. To turn on Do Not Disturb, place your phone face down on a flat surface. You'll feel a vibration, and then that means that Do Not Disturb is turned on. So we're going to turn that on. We're now going to flip the phone. Yeah, and there's a little vibration there. I heard it. So that puts the phone in Do Not Disturb. So if you're at a meeting, for example, and you want to quickly put your phone into Do Not Disturb, just put it down face flat after enabling that and then you're all good to go. And then when you pick it up, Do Not Disturb is turned off. Now everyone's vision is a little bit different and this next feature I think could really help a lot of people. So you're gonna pull down the shade, you're gonna go to the settings, type in display, and then you'll see here display size. And basically in different apps, such as the Messages app for example, and other parts of the OS, you can either go with the default or you can make things smaller or make things way bigger. So if your eyesight is really good, then I suppose make things smaller. And if you have trouble looking at small things, then you wanna make things larger. And you can see that they do have a preview here. You can see how different things look throughout the OS. And then you can customize things to your liking. So I think that can be helpful to many people. And then finally, we do have some cool ways to change the way that the display does look. We're gonna pull down the shade, go to the settings, and then you're gonna see under display, go to advanced and then colors. So there's adaptive is one of the options. There's also boosted and then there's natural. And then you can look at the image here as a preview. Now I don't see a big difference between each of these options. Actually, yeah, I do a little bit. seems like right now for adaptive, things are a little bit warmer and then boosted makes things a little bit cooler and then natural, I suppose, is more natural. <laughs> it really comes down to personal preference. I feel like adaptive is totally fine, but you should still go over here and try these other options out and see if you prefer those instead. But these are 10 more secret Google Pixel 4a features. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful. Make sure to sub to the channel, like the video, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a fantastic day.